Hey everyone and welcome to Daily Scooby News. So a few years ago, scientists weren't even sure whether the Amazon Reef existed. But in 2016, researchers finally confirmed that the Amazon Reef is real. Yay! It's Mars and it's also very, very ecologically critical. Oh. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, the area this reef covers is the size of Nova Scotia, because that's how we measure things here. Yeah? Um, and it stretches from the French uh, Guiana. Guiana to the Brazilian state of Ma, Ma I'm gonna say Marahano. Uh Maranhao. Yeah, I was, saying, I was, I was close. Uh, with the mouth of the Amazon River pretty much in the center. Yeah, so much of the reef is under complete darkness, uh, with its lowest point at 200 meters below the surface. That's wreck, mate. You can do that on a paddy open dive. <laughs> um, so it kind of sits in the area known as the twilight zone. Mm -hmm. Not that twilight zone, the, the twilight zone. ocean zone. Um, so the reef features sponges, corals, coralline mm. algae, mm. and <laughs> rhodoliths. Damn it, um, I thought I'd get you with that. <laughs> which have been recognized uh, as wellsprings of biodiversity and carbonate deposits that have important roles in the global carbon cycle. So mm. we know more about the reef. Why is it actually under threat? Oil. And money. Oil. In fact, 2018, some scientists who were, funnily enough, supported by politicians and oil industry professionals began publicly questioning whether this reef system actually, in fact, was real <laughs> and if it is actually still alive. Of course they did. Yeah, so they <laughs> believed that the reef was a dead relic and that actually nothing could grow under such conditions. Luckily, though, research has proven that this reef is or has life to it, and it's actually rather fragile. So there's lots of, there's, there is life to it, it's good, yeah. but yeah, it's in a fragile state. Yeah. So it does need to be looked after. Yeah, but people still don't believe this, obviously it's fake news, um, and oil companies basically want to drill there yeah. in the area for oil, um, just like they did before, because, you know, money. Money, money, money! <laughs> So Brazilian oil companies have already tried to pressure the government to let them back into the waters and just do whatever the heck they want, mm. um, but public pressure has been too big um, and they basically, basically to protect the reef system so that oil companies were denied access. Thank you, well but, done, more of that please. But of course we all know how the modern media cycle works and there is strong possibilities that certain people could, you know, flex their media muscles and try and convince people people that the Amazon reef is dead or just a lost cause or even that it doesn't exist altogether. <laughs> oh wow, this is bad. Uh, this really is a bad case of fake news. I hate saying that word but it really is just yeah. going around. It just proves how bad some companies will go for money yeah. and sadly uh, in this day and age this is you know it's been going on for years and it's gonna carry on. Mm. So yeah this is this is this is nuts. Okay I'm gonna do a spin now. <laughs> Okay, so silence please. Future Sean, kill the music. Okay, thank you. So, people listen. The Amazon Reef is real. It needs our protection. We can stop this from happening. All we have to do is spread the word of the Amazon Reef and the fact that it is real and it is here to stay. You know, the future of the marine life, we all know how desperate our coral is and how things are dying mm. and marine life is so vitally important, we need this message to be spread that it is real, guys. It is real. Okay, future Sean, little speech is over. Play the music. Ah. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Uh, as Sean said, let's spread the word. The Amazon Reef is a real thing and it definitely needs our help. Uh, Greenpeace have created a petition to help stop the oil companies and also to uh, show our governments that we all want to protect it. So after you've watched this, go sign it. Uh, we pinned it in the comments below. It's quick and easy. Um, if you don't want to get all the sort of Greenpeace emails uh, sort of afterwards, you can just unsubscribe at any moment. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end the show there. If you think that the Amazon Reef is fake, then if you're brave enough, uh, put it down <laughs> in the comments below. Um, yeah, it's sad that it's just kind of like, all they wanna do is just line their pockets, They just, just to dig some more oil and they just don't care about killing new, well not new, but ancient reefs. Yeah. It's just like- They uh, worked perfectly fine beforehand. The only reason why they're in danger is because of previous oil work that was in there. Yeah. Which I'm guaranteed the oil companies knew that there was probably a reef system in there, but they kept shtum about it. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, instead of investing in something else, they were just yeah. like, oh, screw it, we'll just dig it. Yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. Uh, yeah. You can now put your vote in the petition yeah. down below. Clickety. Clickety. Click, click. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Hey everyone, and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So we all know that great white sharks are a migratory species, and they migrate between Nova Scotia and the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and they're also known for just kind of racing past the mid-Atlantic states, just like a highway to get from one place to the other. And if you didn't, well, now you do. Um, 